us for six Fridays. It's been awesome, awesome. We had an amazing co-host. We had amazing doctors join us here. Like, it's been amazing. So, Dr. Idy, are you here? Doctor, I want to see how many of us are here so I can make us co-hosts because we are... Okay, I can see Dr. Clifford. Who remembers Dr. Clifford? <laughs> Good evening, sir. <laughs> so I want to see all our speakers and just make them co-hosts because everyone is tuning in, everyone is talking, everyone is contributing today. Okay, as they come, we'll make them co-hosts. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. How, um, just before we get started, just put in the comments, oh, I'm supposed to share the link, right? Give me, give me one minute to do that. One minute to do that. Yes, yeah, so the guru doctor. Now there you go, the Facebook link. Now, there we have it, the Facebook link and we are live. Okay, so you know how um, we have been all engaged and I'm sure most of you on this call are already engaged in the um, protests of taking back Nigeria for ourselves. You know, with all of the uh, protests happening out there, we still take time to pay attention to our business, even though we are all expected to stand up for our rights. We are all expected to stand up for a better Nigeria, a better Africa for ourselves and for our children. We still have to take our time to, you understand, go and study our product. So today, we are all going to be presenting. Today, we'll present all the attempt to scene series, all of them. We'll also touch on the Evergreen series, the Long Reach Hand Cream, then the Long Reach Energy series, which is an energy shoe. Then we'll take your questions, we'll take your testimonials. We're, we're going to just do this very fast and create more time for testimonials because we really, really want to hear from you how this amazing product has been helping you to be the best version of yourself. And then we'll call it a day. So just before we I introduce every person that will be speaking here today, let me hear in the comment section, how has it been? Like literally, tell us. Just type, how has it been for you? What have you learned? How ha just, just, just let us know how it has been. Type in the comments and share on Facebook so that your people can also get value. Side for us, I'm waiting. How has it been for you? Thanks for okay, nice. Okay, only one person said insightful. Really, only Owe Basi has been okay. It has been awesome knowing the ingredients the products are composed of. A lot to learn. A great eye opener. It's been great, amazing. 
amazing. I know some people had some good testimonies as they started, as the good testimonies and good product sales. It's been educative and informative. I'm glad. So now we are just going straight to introduce our co-host. Is Dr. Ida here? Hi, co-host, are you here? I'm sure she will join us as we go. So we're just going to start. I will be taking the Atemet to Sing series, and I'm going to touch on the Evergreen series. Then our co-host should have joined us by then, because I can't find her. Now, please try to mute yourself when we are muted so that we can hear just the presenters. Thank you so much. Now I'm sharing my screen so that we could take this to the next level as we call this section a close, this episode. Please, I join late. The video should be shared. Okay, so someone can someone just please pick the Facebook link on the comments and reshare it so that people that are just joining in can catch on. Thank you for that. But let me know if you could see my screen. I really want feedback. Can you see my screen? Yes, you can see your screen. No, Thank I can't you. see your screen. I can't see your screen. You can't see, you can't see my screen? Yes, I can't see your screen. Okay. Can you see my screen now, please? No, no. We can go on. I'm Thank you. I can't see the screen. Yes, yes, no. we can see. We can Thank see. you. Thank you. I think we're going to just continue because they can see the screen. We still want you to share this and invite as much people as you can invite. So welcome once again. And let's keep going. Let me start with introducing one of the amazing new products that the company brought in today. That the company brought in, and it's called the Atemet Scene Series. Now, what I love about this is because it came as a series. It came with different variation, different things that you get to use in your house, you get to use in the family, you get to use at home. It came with toothpaste in big and small sizes. It came with roll-on, it came with soap, it came with shampoo and um, conditioner. It came with, um, what else do we have there? You know, different series that people do not understand. I know the very first time Long Reach brought Atomet to same products, someone asked me, a doctor, he said, I don't understand long which not treat malaria. <laughs> it was very, very funny. So even me, I was like, okay, so how does laundry, you know, washing soap, how does it treat malaria? Or how does roll-on treat malaria and the rest? And I know many people just buy the toothpaste and want to lick it so that it treats malaria. But today, the good thing is you're going to be informed so that you'll be adequately educated on what to say about this. The first thing I needed to note about all the Atemetesin series is that they have one key ingredient. And the key ingredient is called Atemesia Anoa, botanical name of basically what the, um, is an extract that is taken away from a plant. This plant has was, I can see this well, this plant was discovered by a chemist, this nobleman, and all he just did was he, he extracted Atemesia from a sweet uh, warm wood. Sweet warm wood is a plant that has been in existence in the Chinese medical and herbal practice for over 2,000 years. 
Now, he now extracted the Artemisia from it and discovered that the Artemisia in that extract helps to reduce mortality for malaria and for uh, people that are stricken and sick with malaria. This discovery has led to the development of new drugs. You know the atomethacin that they sell, that we buy from the chemists? It was, this, it was formulated by atemesia. It was formulated from atemesia products. And it has been saving life ever since it was discovered. Now, before we go into the atomesia, let's start with the um, sweet warm wood. What's the sweet warm wood? The sweet warm wood is the plant, like I said. And the plant is, has been in the Chinese industry for a very long time. This plant on its own helps to reduce fever, has been used to improve digestion. People that have any digestive illnesses, constipation, uh, stomach bloating, those minor, minute illnesses, flu, it's been used to treat flu. It's been used in relieving infections, especially parasitic wound infection, parasitic worm, like someone steps into a wadi mall, someone steps into a into a, uh, it's raining and you step into the mud and the mud just gets to touch you and touch you and touch you. It's been shown that they will, you know, you know how they mix the formulation of the herbs. It's been used in removing parasitic worm. It's been used in, in helping minor digestive problems. You know, naturally that is the wood worm. The sweet wood worm is a plant. This food, wood, warm helps to improve sexual desires. It has been seen in the Chinese tradition over 2,000 years. They've been using it to improve sexual desires. They've been using it to relieve depressive symptoms. Why? They notice that it contains one hormone called taijone. Sujone is a hormone, is a hormone in the brain. That hormone can help to stimulate the brain. It can help to excite the nervous system. That was why it was used to have some good effect for people that have depressive symptoms. It was good, used to have good effect to improve imagination and memory function. That plant alone. Now, I had to start with this at the background to let you know the effect of what this series contains. Now, from this wood, sweet wood worm plant, it was extracted, the Artemisia, Artemisia annua L is the botanical name for the Artemisin extracts that they got from sweet wood worm, or sweet worm wood, sweet worm wood, yeah. And that, Artemisia annua extract itself, that artemisin has been used by the Chinese over 2000 years before the Chinese scientists now isolated it and started using it for malaria. Sometimes they will combine it with other treatments and they will use it. Then in late 1970, 1970 and the rest, the scientists now discovered it and made it a malaria treatment that people can use. So yes, atomethacin tablet that you get in the hospital is derived from this. So someone can take it and it helps to prevent malaria. But they also discovered apart from the anti-malaria effect, it also contained antiviral and antimicrobial effects. And that has been used to do, to do a lot of the effect that it has because of this antimicrobial and antifungal effect and antiviral effect. It was also shown to contain protozoan effects. Now, antibacterial, antibacterial simply means uh, so something that kills bacteria. Antiviral simply means something that kills virus. Protozoal effect simply means something that kills protozoa. I don't want to sound too medicinal for you to understand. They also discovered that it contains antioxidants. And you all know the effect of antioxidants on the human body, right? It helps to reduce cancer. It helps to reduce free radicals. Naturally, it, when you have high antioxidants, your immune system is boosted, you are well hydrated, you are, your defense mechanism is uh, built to fight other diseases. And because of its antimicrobial effect, 
it was shown to have some anti-cancer effect too. Now, okay, uh, permit me to edit this. Permit me to edit that, please. Yeah, this is better. Wow. Just that's not the slide I'm presenting. slide here now did i copy the wrong thing please can you give me one minute i actually copied the wrong slide please i actually copied the wrong slide i'm so sorry for this See? i'm really really sorry for this i copied the wrong slide from my laptop Oh, come on. Oh, they walk along which. I'm really sorry, people. I copied the wrong slide. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. The presentation. Okay, so I'm almost, yes. Really sorry for that. Really, really sorry. Please. I hope you don't hold this against me in the court of presentation law. I'm sorry. I actually missed my slide. And I can't really talk without the slide, but when I do, you will not understand. So just give me rest, please, please. Yes, I've gotten it back. I'm ready. I've gotten it back. Really sorry for that. Thank you for being patient with me. Yes, I'm back. And hopefully it's the right slide because even if it is not, we're going to continue that way. <laughs> and I'm sure it is. Edima, I see not the slide. Yes. Still not the slide I'm looking for. Hmm? Almost doubling. Time is to some deals. Very thankful. 
Check that. I've got in the slide. Yes, my laptop is going off. Your laptop is. Why? Yeah, I'm back. I'm sorry. I'm fully, I'm fully back. Mm -hmm. You could charge directly. I'm back and I've gotten the right slide. So, sorry for that. Now, let's continue. Please let me know if you can see my screen and you can see it clearly. Can you see my screen clearly? Yes, it's clear. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Yes, so this is the right slide. Now, this is actually what I really wanted you to see. I wanted you to see the write up and every other stuff I added. So that was why I really, really needed my slide. But I'm really sorry for keeping you that long. I know you're forgiving me, right? Right? Thank you. No okay, problem. so <laughs> okay, so now if um, the street, the street wood wood, warm wood was also called Artemisia annua. Yeah, thank you. And it was used by the Chinese for more than 200 years. Now, this atomicine was isolated to be used as different treatments. There was something very important I noticed, and I even saw this on the language atomicine product. It said that the atomicia, the atomicia annua is remarkably effective in reducing body heat. You know, some people call it internal heat. Some people call it weight problems, weight gain. You know, I'm sorry, it is hot in me. Some people call it hot, hot flushes, especially for menopausal women. Now, it also used in treating fever, alleviating sunstroke, and also treating malaria. This is according to the Chinese He, um, the Chinese Herbology Volume, which is the Holy Human uh, Husbandman Classic on Roots and Herbs. What, is that, what that simply means is that I had to go and check what the Holy Human's Classic on Roots and Herbs was, and it's more like an encyclopedia of all the ever used herbs and roots, the reason why it worked, and the different things it has been seen to document for. And from that, they noticed that this particular um, at the Woodward did all these amazing products. So now I'm bringing it home, bringing it to why um, Longreach did this series. Before I continue, let me make a very huge disclaimer here. Let me thank you so much for someone forgave me. Let me make a very huge disclaimer here. Longreach attempted to sing series does not in any way treat malaria in your body. Why? Because how malaria is gotten and how malaria affects the body 
is different from the way they have prescribed it for you. They gave you a shampoo, they gave you a mouthwash, they gave you a, a toothpaste, they gave you a roll-on and a laundry soap. Malaria affects your body. Malaria affects your red blood cells. So it's in your blood. And the way atomethacin acts is by attacking the parasites in the red blood cell. But this particular extract is not fully the atomethacin extract. And they're not telling you to lick or to drink the shampoo or to drink the mouthwash or to drink the toothpaste. And malaria is malaria effect is not seen on your skin. It affects the blood. So this cannot treat malaria at all. You know now. But what does it do? Let's start with the mouthwash. Long rich mouth uh, atomethacin mouthwash contains this extract and other chemicals. Because of that, it can be seen as a therapeutic mouthwash. You know, there are cosmetic mouthwash and there are therapeutic mouthwash, depending on what you want to do. Some people just go to the hospital and just to get um, therapy, um, cos uh, sorry, they just go to the makeup stand to go and clean their teeth, you know, use cosmetic mouthwash. The difference is that cosmetic mouthwash can only be temporal, especially when we have um, um, bad breaks that is caused from either breakdown of foods, accumulation of plagues or accumulation of food right from generation time past as you were growing or you have some um, gingivitis always bleeding gum and whenever you bleed you don't get to brush and the, uh, the gum the blood now mixes with the bacteria and causes mouth odor so the cosmetic mouthwash are very temporal the therapeutic mouthwash where you can go and buy and it is therapeutic what causes a, 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 a mouthwash to be therapeutic? If it seems to contain antibacterial effects, antimicrobial effects, and antifungal effects, then it is therapeutic. And this is the good thing. Atomethacin, you remember, we said contain antibacterial, antimicrobial, and anti-protozoal um, effects. And Longwich has involved that in this mouthwash. I bought mine. I use most of the atomethacin series. So I want you to have that at the back of your mind. That is why the mouthwash is one of the best things you should use. It's effective for people that have bad breath. Either how does bad breath happen? You know, people that eat in the morning, they don't brush their mouth, they allow the, the debris to remain, and you finish eating at night, you allow the debris to remain, you don't rinse and brush your teeth. Those debris react with bacteria and cause mouth bad breath. Now contains bad breath and actually chemicals. Okay, so let's let's get this straight. Longwich products are not hundred percent all scientific or sorry, all organic. I think Dr. Idy has said that in one of the presentation. There are some ingredients that they also add to make it chemical, to make it uh, to come out the way it is. So there can be some chemical content, but the real the core ingredient. In this mouthwash is the atomethacea anua extract that is gotten from the sweet wood. And chemical is not a bad thing, or we could say ingredients. Thank you for the correction. Ingredients. Someone just corrected me, and that was what made me to post. Now, this particular mouthwash is also used, can also be used for topical pain relief because of the atomethacin inside. So it can help to relieve pain, to pain. Because once you use the mouthwash, you remove it, the pain receptors can, will calm down. It prevents tooth decay. You know, using a good mouthwash and using long atomethacin mouthwash is very good. There is a condition that we call um, dry sockets. Dry socket is basically after you have gone to do a dental surgery and your, so your, your, your teeth is still very, very dry, or your tooth is trying to recover. Those are post-operative conditions. In those kind of cases, you can have tooth pain, tooth ache, tooth um, 
mouth odors and using a good mouth odor is effective in those cases some people sorry let's mute some people Some people even have um, a, a medical con condition that where your saliva, it's very small, like you don't excrete much more saliva. And they encourage this kind of people take more water, take fluid often. But whenever you don't, uh, you don't, you don't secrete more saliva, you tend to have mouth odor. You tend to have um, tooth decays, mouth problems, and good mouthwash is good. How do you use it? Use 20 meals every morning and every night. You could also use it and also use it after meal. So every single time you eat, after you finish eating, you rinse your mouth first before you use the mouthwash so that you get a better effect. Every family need a mouthwash. It's good for your, yourself any child above one year two year or any child that can actually spit out let me use that not necessarily age can use this you are not meant to drink and swallow you are meant to drink and spit out after 30 seconds and then rinse your mouth so if you know anyone that has mouth odor give this to them and they will have good um effects they will have good testimonial to share with you Now, we also have the, I have taken time to explain what atomethacin does. So the body, atomethacin can help reduce rashes. It can help reduce heat rashes, other, other form of rashes. And that is the core ingredient in long reach atomethacin series. So imagine, and the good thing is, long reach has done it in a very organic way. You remember last Saturday that Dr. Clifford spoke about the um, shampoo, the long reach anti dandruff shampoo, and the effect of it. Now, here's the good news long reach attempt to see nourishing repair shampoo and nourishing repair conditioner is actually therapeutic product for your hair. It's not the regular product out there. Oh, yes, because of the attempt to see inside of it. So you know someone that's always having hair rashes, hair, um, you know, sometimes they have lice, they're always scratching, they have um, boils in their hair, they have ringworm, any of those things. Apart from using the regular shampoo, you could go ahead a step further and use a shampoo that contains atomesia, which has antimicrobial effects, which have protozoa effects, which have antifungal effects just on your hair. So it gets to keep your hair free from any bacteria that you cannot see, microorganisms, while also maintaining the quality of your hair. It soften and strengthen your hair strands. It reduces damaged hair from roughness, dryness, dullness, or fragility. And it is a personal small testimony for me. Because I just I, I love trying long reach products, I just think it's one, one of the wise things to do. Because either way, I'm gonna wash my hair. So why buy another shampoo out there? I know you really like me too. But I, I have never really tried this. So I got this in I, I think just before the lockdown, then I, I used it on my hair. After plating my hair and I losing my hair, four, three weeks later, my hair was so soft. Like it was literally soft and it was bouncing just because I mixed the shampoo and the conditioner to wash my hair. Atomesia, atomesia shampoo and conditioner, very effective. And I tell people, always go out there and tell people that this work not to treat malaria you don't have malaria in your hair like you know right malaria does not affect your hair you know but there are other benefits attached just uh, attached to atomes atome atomesia atomesia annual not necessarily the atomesia okay now let's talk about the tooth the long reach toothpaste are you getting value i'm sure you are Long reach toothpaste, you know we have different form of toothpaste, but this is actually the 
atomic to same suit space. And this suit space has been made in two different sizes for us to use. Like two different sizes for you to get the right benefit, the right effect. And here's the good thing about this. It can, the real products, like the real, um, the real active ingredients in this product is the Atomic, Atomicia Anua L, which is also called the what? Atomic C. Using the logic, what this does is that it helps relieve inflammation, you know, because of the antibacterial effect it has. This helps, sorry, this helps with oral swelling, gingivitis. What is gingivitis? Swelling of the gum. Sorry, who is talking? For the co-host. Sorry. <coughs> this helps in preventing tooth decay, tooth ache, and oral inflammation. There are the good ingredient that is contained here, but mostly herbal, but it also has some chemicals ingredient in it. It contains the atomicin extract and it also contains tooth protective complex. It is fortified with tooth protective complex. It also has, it also has, um, it contains, wow. It also contains fluoride. Yes, yeah, someone asked a question last week. Why does it contain fluoride and the other whitening suits does not contain fluoride? And here is my thoughts. Other doctors are here, so they can also add their thoughts. Here's my thoughts. This in particular toothpaste does not contain xylitol and the cavity preventing chemicals or cavity preventing ingredients that is contained in the white tea. So to prevent cavitation, to so decay, they put a percentage of fluoride here and not high in amount. I hope we got that. The next product I would like to share is the laundry detergent. Using the same mechanism of action, using the same knowledge you have gotten that atomicin is better and uh, atomicin is better, contains antimicrobial effects. See the atomicin, the laundry effect. What does it do? Yes, apart from removing stains from your clothes, what does it do? It also, I'm looking for the right word to use, but sanitizes your clothes. Like, you know, you get it. It removes any bacteria that has either stained on your clothes or stayed there. It, preserve, it preserves your hand. You know, sometimes we finish washing and after washing, we don't even get a right effect. We have some peeling, we have some infections from, our, from the wrong kind of detergent we use. But this company has given us an amazing atomicine concentrated antibacterial laundry detergent. So they have infused the atomic seed inside of it to help remove stains and to help you to keep you to give you ultra cleanliness and freshness. What I'm trying to say is that the atomic seed gives it a therapeutic kind of benefit. Let's go over to the soap. The same effect, the same effect, and this is the other good thing. This particular soap eliminates odor and germs nourishes your skin, keep your skin in perfect shape, but with the mere fact that it contains this antibacterial touch, an antifungal touch, and has an antioxidant touch. So it, it also showed, it also showed that it protects, I think it's here. Let me come here. Yes. If you come here, you would see when they write, the Atomesia annua is remarkable effective in reducing body heat, fever, and alleviating sunstroke. You know sunstroke, sun heat, where you expose yourself to sun. And you know most times we don't have um, creams that contain sun protective factor inside of it. Using long reach atomic seen can have an effect in protecting your skin from sunstroke and from sunburns. Amazing, right? I love them too. Okay, that is, and 
I know we have more than this. We also have um, the roll-on. The roll-on also contains the effect of the atomic scene and also keeps you fresh, six to eight hours, while also giving you amazing, amazing fragrance, amazing fragrance. And so with all of the atomic scene series, now let's go over to the evergreen series i hope you are getting value the evergreen series i didn't have much review or much um insight into this i didn't i from all the research i was doing i didn't get much insights and probably because i've really not used the evergreen series and so you would permit me not to know much yet but in subsequent future episode i'm sure someone else will do this but for the evergreen series what I, love, what I love about it is the fact that it's basically cosmetic and you can get to use it on your skin. One of the greatest ingredients in it is the nutri, the nutri, the aloe vera, uh, aloe vera ingredients, the nutri V. You know, nutri V, Dr. Eileen spoke a lot about it, which are different foods mixed together. The company has known how to make good cosmetic effects from all the good food that we see in nutri V, not all, but most of them, they have brought it out to make facial cleanser for us, essence lotion, and they package it together. I hope we got that. Yes, so now this is amazing. Dr. ID, can we have you? Because I'm about to take my last product. I want to know if she's standby for us. She's taking our last product for us. Yeah, you could drop sending your questions, send in your questions. While we have our co-host join us soon, let's talk about the very, very, very last product. And it is one of my very best because when I discovered it, I just fell in love with it. Oh. When I discovered it, I just fell, just fell in love with it. I just fell in love with this particular product and it's called the long reach hand cream. The long reach hand cream consists of every ingredient, before I would say, uh, every ingredient that makes your skin to be supple, that makes your skin to be soft, especially your palm skin. See, your skin on your body is not does not have the same effect or the same consistency or subtleness like the skin on your palm the skin on your palm are extra keratinized what that simply means is there is a a, a cell or a layer that covers the skin and that layer is called epidermis Epidemics. epidemics has keratinized keratin that is like it makes it strong to prevent anything from entering if we have just one keratin here or one layer on your skin on your palm of your skin you have many more layers now the palm of your skin does not even contain enough sebaceous gland like your normal skin what is sebaceous gland? The gland that secretes sweat, that secretes oil on your skin. You don't have it that much, on you. most people don't have it much on their hand, especially on the palm of their foot, on the, on the sole of their palm. We don't have it that much. And because we are prone to always washing our hands every, you know, 20 seconds to 20 minutes every time, we are prone to always shaking people. We are prone to exposing our hand every now and then to different um, circumstances. You need to keep your hand on the check. You need to always, always use a good moisturizing, please note the word, a good moisturizing hand cream. Why the word moisturizing? Because any hand cream you use that does not moisturize your skin will have a tremendous negative effect on your hand. 
people say they want to use stoning hand cream, they want to use um, different hand cream. Let me tell you one effect of stoning hand cream that you use that is not good. When you tone the skin of your hand, you are releasing keratin, keratin epidemic. Yeah, you are de-keratinizing your skin. And that has more effect than normal. But when you go ahead and use long reach hand cream, it helps to moisturize your hand. Now, someone will say, isn't just long reach hand cream? Let me be frank, no. Not just long reach hand cream that you can use and it will help to moisturize your hand. Many and any hand cream you use can do that effect. But the difference is that long reach one has high amount of vitamin E, vitamin A, and vitamin um, B in it. Vitamin E is extremely good for the skin. I'm sure Dr. You remember when Dr. Clifford was sharing that with us? Vitamin E is amazing, especially for keratinized hand. And whenever you get to use it, it absorbs into your skin without having any effects. So I wish, I am sure, that beyond every reasonable doubt, I have been able to convince, conv not fuse, but I've been able to convince you that you need to have all of language at the same series in your house, use the evergreen cosmetic, and never lack long reach hand cream in your bag. I an amazing thing that our company does, that our company is a massive company. She doesn't just do one, she does plenty. When I was doing research, I, I saw different atomethacin series. But when I was passing to, I, I went to the SD with the MS Stocky Center and I saw that she loaded her Stocky Center with other products that are only, only, only in China market. And I picked this snake oil plus fruits hand cream. Can you see that? Yeah, I think you can. Thank you for confusing me rightly. Wrote to me, I will remove it from my group. <laughs> you know, and I tell you, I just love the scent of this hand cream. I love the way it makes my skin feel whenever I finish working and it's used every now and then. So, it's amazing, it's amazing. I know our cohort should be somewhere here. Dr. ID, are you here now? I'm here. <laughs> Ooh, okay, please, okay. people, put your hands together. <laughs> put your hands together. Where are you? We are trying to look for your face. I'm trying to look for you. Okay, yay. People, we are happy to have her, Aaron Sui. <laughs> okay, so welcome, welcome, welcome. I, I know you got so much value from what I shared. Thank you, Dr. ID. Welcome. We missed you the first 30 minutes, but anytime with you is a good time. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> we know, right? Okay, so you have the floor. We, you oh. have the floor right now, ma'am. Oh, right, right, okay. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Um, I'm so sorry I had to join the meeting late. I got um, a lot to do. In fact, it's been crazy. Um, I'm actually very excited that this is over because, you know, we had planned to have it done in one month. And so I had other things scheduled for today and even last week. So it's been crazy trying to balance everything and still be here. Thank you so much, Dr. Esther for holding the fort. I can see people have been enjoying the presentation as you can see people have been loving the presentation and I've seen the comments as well. And I know that we have all learned so much in the last six weeks. So it's our last day with you on the medical and scientific perspective of the products, but trust us, you're gonna be seeing us more and more and more, just like Dr. Exter said, subscribe to the YouTube channel, to get more information. Those that are already following me, you know how to, you know how to get me to speak wherever I'm speaking. So you can just follow and you will get the information. So it's a pleasure to take you through the last product of the series. I believe 
I don't know if we have missed out any of the products, but we have tried as much as possible to incorporate as many products as possible, just to make sure that you have a feel of the scientific and medical perspective. So permit me to share, um, well, a lot of accolades for Dr. Esther, the ever vibrant and energetic woman from day one. <laughs> don't mind them. <laughs> I totally agree. I totally agree. So good to have you all. So I'm going to quickly share my screen so that we won't spend so much time together here. So today I will be talking about the energy shoe. So yes, the energy shoe. It's actually a pleasure to talk about this shoe. As we go along, I'm going to share my experience with this shoe. My very first experience with this shoe was in 2016 in China. I will not forget it. I'll, I'll come back to that, but let's go ahead. Um, one thing I, I love and know about this shoe is the fact that Long Beach invested energy resources, painstaking research to convert, you know, I've been talking about this from day one. They tried to involve modern technology on traditional Chinese medicine. And this was one that it took them over 30 years, 30 years. Over 30 years of constant research, how do we incorporate all these Chinese yin yang, queen pi pi, you know, how do all those terms, how do we combine them into one product? You know, they did a bit of bit in the energy pot, which we talked about. In fact, I seem to have enjoyed talking about all the energy series because like literally, they were trying to incorporate the energy theorems, you know, of the traditional Chinese medicine into their products. But this is one product that they got it so right. I mean, they got it right in the energy shoe. But this one was a lot of ideas, technologies put together in one product. You know, it was launched during our 30th anniversary. And that was fortunately for me when I was in China in 2016. It was amazing. Honestly, it was fantastic. Okay. Now, this A plus is called A plus energy shoes. It's a combination of what we all know as acupuncture aromatherapy, I'm sure you all know that this originated from Asia, physical therapy, traditional Chinese medicine and modern technology. So it's a fusion of all of this, a little of all of this literally. It's based on what the belief that the food is to our bodies, sorry, I didn't put that, the food is to our bodies, what the root is to trees. So I'm sure we know what a root is to a tree. Without the root, there'll be no tree. All the nutrients come from there. So to them, in all their studies, in all their traditional Chinese medicine, the food is held sacred because it's to our bodies what the root is to trees. So because of its position, literally, your food mirrors your entire health. Your food mirrors your general health. You know, and that explains why there are so many ailments, ailments that affect the that kind of affects the food directly or indirectly. So in Chinese traditional medicine. The food is termed the second heart of the human body. And we all know that the food accounts for about 25% of the bones in the human body. So the food is a very important organ in our system. It carries one half of the body's weight when we walk, a higher half of our body's weight when you're walking, the pressure is on the foot, literally. With so many nerve endings in the foot, it is one of the nerve rich parts of the body. In fact, it is said that all, uh, all the nerve endings of the major organs within our body terminate in the foot. Now, the A plus energy shoes are manufactured based on five traditional Chinese uh, medicine and modern innovative health theories. The very first one is the traditional Chinese medicine itself. The second is what is called holographic embryo theory. The third is the blood circulation theory. The fourth is the foot massage theory. And the fifth is the human mechanics theory. We'll just look at each of, uh, each of them just one at a time. Now for the traditional Chinese me medicine theory, we're looking at the modern bioengineering miracle. I studied biotechnology, it's quite close to bioengineering, right? So the idea of biotechnology, bioengineering is literally recreating the body system and you know understanding the connections the networks of the body system and trying to recreate you know like a simulation and see okay if we stimulate this how does it affect that part that's what we call bioengineering literally and so we try that with microorganisms and then we grow 
and try that in, in, of course, higher animals, and then, of course, we go to the humans. So that's the Bioengineering Miracle, which is still one of the most funded research grants in the world right now. And that's the truth. So we want to understand, you know, everybody's so curious, how does, what's this connection? We need to make sure that, you know, it's just like when the Human Genome Project was, was launched. We want to understand how can we understand, a, get a full genome map of the human system. That's how interesting the bioengineering miracle is. And that's one thing, one thing that made me fall in love about technology. You see all about technology, all about engineers everywhere in the world. We are trying to just make our connections with our research, you know, and just try to explain so much that we can't explain about the human body, right? Now, traditional Chinese medicine has done detailed research over decades and decades on what they call bodily meridians, channels, and collaterals. Meridians in traditional Chinese medicine actually means energy highways, you know, channels, networks of energy in the system. They believe they have about 12 meridians in the body and that, you know, walking through these meridians can actually in, um, stimulate self-healing, okay? And acupuncture, as we all know, is based on this system of meridians. So along these highways, these energy highways, lie what we call acupoints which are stimulated by needling. That's the principle of acupuncture, right? Or pressure or heat, just to resolve a clinical problem. And in most times, I'm sure a lot of us have read so much, I've heard so much about acupuncture. Acupuncture, does it work or it doesn't? It works. In most times it works. And that's the beautiful thing about this acupuncture. So it's literally saying, we're gonna bring that into your daily routine, okay? So the premise in, with this um, A plus energy series is simple. Chinese, the traditional Chinese medicine believes that when there's any blockage in this energy highway, there's also a chance of aging quite fast. And also when there's a blockage in any of these energy highways, you're going to be having pains, aches and pains. And their belief is that if they can free this blockage and allow the energy pass through, the pain goes away, okay? And they believe the second heart of the human body is the foot. And that is why it has to be treated that way. And that takes us to the next theory, which is the holographic embryo theory. Okay, this is a fundamental principle that is applied to a lot of practices from acupuncture to TCM, so many of them. Now the theory in TCM, what it does is it views the extremities of the bodies as individual microsystems, right? So extremities, the heart, the foot, they are two extremities, very far away, but they are microsystems. And so they believe that if you stimulate a corresponding point in the microsystem, you can actually treat issues anywhere in the body, especially when it's corresponding. That's the belief of the principle of the holographic embryo theory. It's well-researched, well-funded, and well-studied. So the foot is a holographic embryo organ, and we have other ones like the ears, the hands, the nose, and even the vertebrae, that's the spine, okay? So the foot holographic reflex area and the meridian passages are a reflection of the entire embryo. And this is usually quite important in terms of you know, signal transmission, during development and even nervous signals as well. So because the feet is for, then there's a third one, the blood circulation theory. Now, because the feet are so far away from the heart, okay, the foot blood takes a long time to get back to the heart. And if that pressure is not high enough, it is difficult for the, fit, the, the foot blood or the feet to flow back to the heart. Sorry, one minute, please. So it's difficult for the feet blood to flow back to the heart. Hence, fit, who is drawing on our screen now? I'm sorry. When's the draw, we can't screen short. So one minute. So let me go back to my screen sharing. So hence, the fit will dictate or support peripheral circulation because if it doesn't go back, if it doesn't really go back, that's one thing that they, that's one of the theories that they use on this shoe. So with the properties in this shoe, they ensure that the peripheral circulation is top notch and it's also quite good. Um, then the fourth one is a foot massage theory. Here, 
they apply medicinal and a magnetic stimulation onto feet. Oh, the massage you get from those feet, you can slip off wearing the energy shoes. You won't feel the pressure of the massage, but you will definitely feel some form, you know? So it's like apply medicinal and magnetic stimulation onto feet. So to enhance muscle activity and blood circulation, hence making the foot play the role of the second heart. Because with this massage, there's a speed up in blood circulation and is, there's a communication literally from between the first and the second heart in quotes, according to the Chinese traditional medicine. Now, the human mechanics theory is another well-studied part. And so they've also put that theory in the shoe where they, they did a lot of details in biomechanics and bioeconomics. Economics is like saying, okay, let's look at the design. How does this fit onto this, to this, to this? And so they looked at the bioeconomics of the entire system starting from the foot. And with this human mechanics theory, we, will, and we can achieve general balance from the foot, literally posture correction kind of balance from the foot to the whole body, you know, by applying that foot mechanics, skeletal balance, philosophy, and physical orthopedics to the product. That's one thing. So this, like I said, this product is one product that with these five theories, they did not just think about it in one day. It took them several years, 30 years, of looking at how to combine these five theories into this product. Now, what's the significance of acupuncture points? Acupuncture points. So you can see on the screen, some of these acupuncture points, you know, that they talked about. So like we said, the feet are akin to the root of the tree. So the feet are to the body, what the roots are to the trees. Now, the human body has 12 meridian channels and collaterals, and six out of 12, that's half of it, are connected to the foot. And there are as many as 33 reflex zones on the sole of the feet, which actually comprises one tenth of all acupoints. So this is another thing we also need to understand. So acupuncture points are like switches. So they perform a regulatory role in life. So you press the point, a switch. So you press this, just like you press a light bulb, you press it here, and then there's this um, connection, electric connection that gets to the bulb to put it on. That's what acupuncture points are. So they have their connections, they have their signal mechanisms that when you, you press the acupoint, it sends those signals, those energies, whatever it is that that particular organ needs as the point. And so it plays a pivotal role in regulating life forces. So these are some of the things that is called the master switch of meridians, the energy shoes, because it gives you these functions, the ability to, you don't need to, you, you wearing the shoes already gives you that benefit of a walking exercise, gives you the benefit of a foot massage and the cervical care is not to be toyed with because it's got this direct connection to the vertebrae, which actually has a connection to the pelvis. And so you can, you can get a full cervical care just from the shoes. Then we've got the body balancing, the energetics, the, I mean, so much, it can actually help you sleep. And there was a time that my husband had trouble sleeping. He just said that he wore the shoes and he slept like a baby. So he actually wore it to sleep through the night. He didn't want to pull it up so it doesn't wake him up, you know? So what are the high-tech ingredients that we have in these energy shoes? We have super magnetic materials. And what they do is they produce high-frequency electromagnetic wave to eliminate mutated disease tissue cells and energize the cells. So that's what this the electromagnetic wave, I talked about a bit about it last week. Um, last week we talked about um, the sanitary napkins as well. So our bodies have this whole um, fine infrared electromagnetism, bio electromagnetism. So what this does is just to, to kind of stimulate it, you know, stimulate those high frequency electromagnetic waves just to, you know, just to send signals spiraling all through the, through the whole economics, literally. Okay, then there's another polymer material. Um, this, is, this is literally just to give the shoes additional benefit of resistance because this, this material they are using has the ability to resist odor, fire, um, organisms, bacteria, fungi, you know, all the things that will make shoes not durable. And because of these properties, that have been included in the shoes. The shoes are lightweight, they are flame retardant, 
they are wear resistant and they are highly durable, you know, compared to your other shoes as well. Then we have the stone needles, typically used for acupuncture, and it's known to calm nerves and improve blood circulation. Then we have the tourmaline powder, which is one of the most popular products. And one of the top functions of the tourmaline powder is to emit fire infrared, is to promote metabolism. There's so many functions in fire infrared. I talked a lot about fire infrared last week on the sanitary napkin, the anti-inflammatory properties, and so many other things. These are things that you can find in the energy shoes. And so because of how fast the signal transmission is the just the, the availability of this far infrared can actually help can actually help with cervical care as well and painful periods and all of that we have a sandal wood traditionally known to also calm nerves relieve cold improve appetite and so much more you can just do your study on sandal wood and you can see how well beneficial it is and then we've got the clothes of course, you know what clothes are used for, pain relief, stomach issues, halitosis, impotence, nausea, so many traditional uses. These are all incorporated into our shoes. So these are the, some of the some of the high-tech ingredients. We have a lot of the ones that we have not talked about, like the lilac and the rest of them. So literally, what's the principle? How does it work? The idea is that with these things at the bottom of the shoes, through simulation of those reflex zones, the acupoint on the sole of your feet, the energy shoes will promote a smooth flow of energy along the meridians of the whole body. It's like an energy boost, literally. That is why I tagged the energy shoe. I was the person that tagged it, the first human power bank. Because after I did my studies on the energy student I returned from China in 2016, I told myself, this is a human power bank. As you're running out of energy, it is refueling your energy. So I tagged it the first human power bank. So once the energy flow goes, what happens is that it will now trigger. So some part of the body cells on organs that have been weak and not functional will be woken up, will be agitated, will get the energy that they need to do their work. So it will trigger the body's self-regulatory, is something we have in their body, and self-healing functions, thus enhancing the body's vitality and self-healing power, literally. So that's the main thing it does. And then, of course, these shoes come with magnetic therapy plus medication plus non-invasive. That's the beautiful thing that makes this shoe different from the regular acupuncture. It's a non-invasive acupuncture, which energizes and also acts as a barrier of defense. Now, there are magnetic elements in the shoes, and they are aligned to the various reflex points on the sole. So if you don't wear your size, you may not get as much benefit as if it were if you were wearing your size. So they will help on block channels and then will help the body achieve ultimate balance in what we call yin and yin yang. That's the Chinese really life. That's the core of the Chinese life balance, yin yang, okay? So here's some of the features I talked about. I call it the first human power bank. It will recharge you, it will reboot you and it will revitalize you, you know? It's got this exclusive mechanical correction technology. So it can actually shape your foot up with regular wearing. It can rectify body skeleton and it can actually correct spinal column. Correct it, yeah. You know, hunchbacks and all of them. Over repeat use, it can do that. Now, one advantage of the energy shoes is to correct bone misalignment. Okay, so through the gradual feeding of energy. Another advantage lies in its ability to promote blood circulation, metabolism, and reduce toxins in the blood. So through to, because of that, it can actually improve blood circulation in the lower limbs, and this is a plus for diabetics. It can correct pressure pressure distribution of the foot of the soles, especially for those that wear a lot of high heels or have a lot of... Um, um, play a lot of active sports, you know, things that will affect the foot, the legs. So with current constant use of the energy shoes, it could correct the pressure distribution at the foot soles, hence reduce pressure and wear and tear in knee joints, which lessens joint inflammation and pain. This is for those who are at risk of arthritis or already having arthritis as well. The use of energy shoes could help distribute the force on the feet. It does that, helps distribute the force on the feet. Remember, it creates balance, balance all over the system and the force and relieve high pressure areas as well. Energy shoes correct bone matrix in the feet and disperse the focal pressure. 
effectively delivering corrective measures and stopping pain. And that's why people that have pain will wear the energy shoes and they don't feel any pain at all. Okay, so it literally just disperses the focal pressure of your pain. And remember, it's got a high concentration of tourmaline, which has anti-inflammatory properties, which can actually release the pressure of that inflammation on the nerve, instantly relieving the pain. It balances and aligns all angles of the bone. So literally, like we said, there's this human mechanical structure, the bioergonomics. We know the exact angle, and that concept has been factored into the energy shoes to make sure that that balance is achieved. It's made from exquisite raw materials, handmade with Italian craftsmanship. So who should wear energy shoes? For me, it's everybody, except people, pregnant women, people with internal hemorrhage. Remember, maybe within three months, the last three months you've had internal bleeding or any form of bleeding, um, you can't wear it because like we said, it speeds up circulation as well. Or people wearing pacemakers, you can't wear it. But it's still for everybody, people who tire easily. Yes, if you tire easily, you need the energy shoes for that energy bomb. People suffering from very chronic disease, you need to really literally wake up a lot of your weakened cells to get them back to insist them to really wake, wake them up to get them into self healing people on constant medication sub healthy people people with very active lifestyle who want improved performance the energy issues can help people with joint issues arthritis rheumatism short patients cervical um, people with cervical lum lumbar spondylosis so like i said because of the direct connection with the um, of the foot with the vertebrae with the spinal cord it's been proven time without time but there's a lot a long a, a deep study on using the energy shoes for cervical spondylosis and even lumbar spondylosis it does relieve the pain and with consistent use it can actually repair a lot of that as well so what are the timelines so when we're doing we have we've done several tests so when you want to buy the energy shoes they do the test on you you know Honestly, when I first read, heard this timeline in my mind, I'm like, these people and their jazz, you know, but it wasn't. It was literally well explained, based just the way I've explained it scientifically, right? In one minute of wearing the energy shoes, you should experience instant energy power. And I'm not kidding. Now, I'm going to share my story. When I was, when I went to China 2016, I went with my eight month old daughter, by the way. So that was the first time the professor that worked on the energy shoe presented the energy shoes to us. I will not forget, I will not forget that day. And so this professor calls up a few people to the stage and he starts doing the test on them. They wear the shoes, activate the shoes, walk around for like maybe three, five minutes. And then before they, move, they wear the shoes, they will do some tests on them, like put pressure on some points. They will scream, they are in pain. Or they'll ask you what part of your body is paining you. You know, or they'll do something like trying to get you to move, you know, so you put tell you stretch out your both arms and then they'll get two guys on one on the side to put the, the arms down from this joint. And if you try from here, it's not possible. It's like literally once they put the pressure, of course the arms will fall. And then they wear the energy shoes and then they start walking around and in three minutes they come back and magically the pain is gone. The pressure, they, they can't, you get so much energy, you can't put their hands down. So me, I'm a doubting Thomas, I keep saying it. I'm one of the biggest doubting Thomases. And that was why whenever something comes to me, I must do my big research, deep detailed research. I must test, even if it means using my body as a scapegoat, I must test. So I remember I was holding my daughter. And the next thing they said, um, come, come. I, I told them, they, they called another person on the stage. That's how I just threw my daughter to somebody and I ran up on the stage because I wanted to be sure that that was possible. So I went on the stage as usual. They did the normal, what part was paining you? Of course, at this time I had been diagnosed of my, um, the waist pain I talked about earlier, the sleep disc. So I mentioned, of course, I can't squat. And then I have always had um, knee issues, you know, I've, I'd already scheduled for a surgery before I got married. And after that, I just busted it. I said, I can't be doing surgery on my knees. So I ignored it. So I, I had some bodily pains, right? But that wasn't even the point. I just wanted to feel that energy they were talking about. So I put my legs in the shoe, walked around the beat, and then I came back. And so all I kept, all the, the, the professor said is resist. When someone tries to push you, resist. When someone tries to do this, resist. And I noticed that 
If I did not resist and they push me, I will fall. But when I resist, it's as if, I don't know, should I call myself Hulk Hogan? And each time I tried to resist, the more I was still wearing the shoe, the more energy I was pulling, pulling. Honestly, I felt like I was going to fight the whole world. You know, with this protest that is going on, maybe I should just wear the energy shoe and go and just start fighting all the police on the road. But what I'm saying is, I got so much energy. Even after I pulled out the shoe for another three to four hours, the energy was still there, you know? And I was like, I'm talk about the pains. The pain had subsided so much. And that is why I believe so much on this timeline. But of course I pulled it out. And of course, everything came back after about 24 hours. So by the time the energy shoes came to Nigeria, I did not waste time in buying it. I did not, we bought it, we used it. I still have mine, you know, but I think I did not care for it properly because I remember wearing it out one day and it rained on me. And one of the care, oh, which I forgot to put on the slide, is that because of the tourmaline powder and the lilac and the cyanide wood and most of these other things that are powder in the shoes, you cannot allow it to get wet. If you do, you need to sun dry it for a very, very long time to reactivate. You remember when the tourmaline powder gets reactivated by the energy of the sun, you know? So I didn't know. So I just got into the rain with the shoe and that was how the potency literally wore out. And unfortunately, I haven't really thought about putting it out. I just wear my husband's and it going forward because it's the same size. So what I just do is whenever I feel, there are some times that like when we first moved to this house, when we first moved to Abuja, because of the stress of the move, oh my God, the disc prolapse like relax, came back severely, you know, and when it happens that way, I will need to get like a, a physiotherapist. But my physiotherapist these days was a shoe. I took my athro to continue working, relieving the pain, but I just found my husband's shoe, put my feet in it, and I continued walking around, activated the walking around. And within 24 hours, I started feeling instant relief. I didn't need to get a physiotherapist. So I believe so much when it comes to helping. The only problem I have had is inconsistency. I know that if I consistently wear the energy shoe for as long as a year to two years, I will actually get close to 95% of healing. But I just haven't, nobody, I don't know if anyone has a discipline, but I don't. I've never had a discipline to do anything as long. The only thing I've had a discipline to do for long is long reach because I'm earning money. I'm sure when the money stops coming, I will have a discipline, you know, but generally that's it. So these are the timelines. You experience instant energy power in one minute. You apply pressure on the disease, normally within 10 minutes, when you apply pressure on where you were feeling significant pain, within 10 minutes, the pain would have reduced significantly. In three days of constantly wearing it, you can actually regain enough strength, especially for people who are very weak and fatigued and unable to walk. And then of course, in 90 days, they believe that consistently wearing the shoe for 90 days, the magnetic power and the energy can unblock all meridians and channels and can actually restore life. So this is the timeline that they have given with regards to wearing the shoe. We have so many, these are testimonials we got from their initial studies. We've had so many more testimonials in Nigeria. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to, because of the time, I plan to actually document the Nigerian testimonials and also show us videos. We've had so many more testimonials in Nigeria, but we have people, especially aged people, 84 year old lady who literally to climb the stairs, had to stop and breathe, you know, rest, wears energy shoes. And I can tell you, I have put my feet in those shoes and I know the energy to give you. You just keep, it's like, you just got wings to fly. You start feeling like a superman of some sort. You know, so many testimonies on, on those um, products, so many of them, they can, you can squat. Some of the testimonies you see, see people able to squat, people able to, you know, so many things that you get with the products and all of that as well. So these are some of the testimonials. I don't have mine, but yes, this is the Longbridge Energy Shoe. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you much for, so much for listening as well. And do we have our Doc Esther or can we start taking questions? Thank you very much, everybody. I hope you got a lot of value from the presentation. 
Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Amazing. <laughs> that was perfectly presented. So let's people, let's give her all the love, all the hearts. Let's still have thank you for the lecture. Thank you for giving us your time. You know, now we have officially named her the professor of energy shoes and energies, any, any language energies. She's now going to go with all the professoral background. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. ID. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we have less than 15 minutes to 20 minutes to do this so that we could all have a good day. People, send in all your questions. You could go ahead and um, if you send in questions before I finish presenting, please resend it so that we can see it. I can see them and read. So I think we'll just start with Dr. ID because the energy issue is coming so much and I cannot find my own. I have your questions if you want me to ask them. I, what I did was I tried to copy the questions during the presentation so that- Okay. So that when next work, next work, uh, Okay, so let me do- So I just decided to put, uh, yeah. Thank you, Dr. ID. Well presented. Thank you for the presentation. Thank you, Dr. ID. This is awesome. Thank you, Prof of Energy Shoes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. I think let's just look, let's go with the Atomatism series. Okay. Yes. So I have a question here. Can my two year old girl use the toothpaste? Okay, so can your two-year-old girl, can she um, spit out? Yes, she can, if she can spit out. Yeah. Because you're not meant to take it in. And yes, as long as it's not a toddler, it's not a child, and the person can spit out, can obey command, yes, the person can use it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let me see the next question, one minute. Um, sorry. It's okay. I'm just wondering just... if the continual use of the artemisine toothpaste will not lead to a strain of mosquitoes not affected by the artemisine. Do you understand? No, please rephrase that. So the question is, I'm just wondering if continual usage of the artemisine toothpaste will not lead to resistance. That's what she's saying. The toothpaste leads to resistance. Okay. Let's look at the mechanism of action. The, um, what's the word? It's a uh, mosquito bites your skin and send in an, um, the gametocytes of an orphanless mosquito of, of the parasite into your body. So once you are using the atometicine, you are using the atometicine and it's stopping on your upper respiratory tract, sorry, your upper um, esophagus, highest your stomach, and it's been washed out, it's been excreted out. So the chance of getting it into your blood system are very narrow. And the Artemisia annua uh, extracts, it's not necessarily the full dose of Artemisia. So it will not lead to um, what's the word resistance with artemetocin tablets for anti-malaria, not at all. Not even when you use the soap on your skin, it would not. Instead, I'm even thinking what it may even do, especially for those that use the soap, it may even make, it may even be toxic on the uh, mosquito that comes to perch on your skin. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's great. So um, let me just add to that because um, I, I did an extensive study and um, the issue is if you're trying to, to ingest any of these products, then you're putting yourself at a risk because whatever you take can cause resistance when you take it in a sufficient dose. It doesn't have to be in the dose where it's fight. And I want us to understand that even in the atomicin combined series, the one, the one we use for malaria is always a combined type. Even in that, yeah. even in that type, there's a chance for resistance. That's number one. Number two, the dosage that is administered to be able to use for malaria is a lot compared to what you see even in. So even taking atemisia annua extra tea cannot give you malaria treatment. It may even make resistance happen. 
But for externally used products, for externally used products, you are not at risk. That's what I always say. But that doesn't yeah. mean just go trying to force ingest the mouthwash or ingest things that you can ingest from Artemisia just so that you can get, get treated. If you try that, you will get the resistance. That's what I believe from what I've also studied as okay. well. Yeah, okay. true. So, true. Thanks for um, adding. Yeah. So please, does the use of artemisin toothpaste treat malaria? She's already answered, no, it doesn't. Please, is the artemisin nourishing soap only for the face? For the face? Maybe you had mentioned to use it for the face, and so they think if it's only for the face. No. OK, so I'm just saying you use it's, it's not for the face. It's for all part of your body, every part of the body. Hmm. It's, for, it's, it's for the every part of the body Entire, yeah. yeah okay i think that's all there's one that just came in no I, I can see one here yeah i received shock on my teeth since after i used atomatism toothpaste okay so now this is one thing that people can say Let, uh, when you are starting to use some toothpaste afresh for the first time even me, I noticed, especially when I went to have some um, tooting and polishing on my tooth and the rest, after I came back, touching my teeth, if there was some sensitivity in that affect my teeth. So the first time you are using new set of products that contains new set of ingredients, your teeth will want to be sensitive, obviously it's getting something new. With consistent use, it's going to weigh off. But if after you've used it for four days, one week, and you still have shocking effects, then you discontinue and go to use what helps you. But just know that for the first time you are going to use it, you are using something afresh, and your teeth is a living thing. Your teeth will want to tell you, OK, ah, this is new. This is, and when you take cold water, you have shocking effects. You take hot water, you have very sensitive. But when you consistently use it for three days, one week, two weeks, it's going to reduce. But when it does not reduce, please change and use something else. And use the white tea yeah. also, toothpaste. Yeah. I was going to add to that that I naturally, my tooth um, is quite sensitive. And so I am careful what I use. And one of the reasons I fell in love with the white tea toothpaste was because it had that anti-shock um, component, you know? So the sensitivity part of it, they had a product, they had an ingredient in the toothpaste that caters for it. So, and um, I haven't looked at the Temisin toothpaste ingredient, but I don't know if that ingredient is in the Temisin toothpaste. And if it's not there, then of course, if you naturally have shock, then you won't have it taken care of with the Temisin toothpaste. So you may need to check that as well. Yeah, so, yeah. and please for sensitive tooth, like if you know you always have tooth sensitivity, I would really recommend you use the white tea. White tea, exactly. Toothpaste, because of its effect that has been noticed. And um, I, I think I would recommend you use the white tea super for anyone that has tooth sensitivity. It's recommended. I think okay, so that's all. Someone is asking the same question. Yeah. Please, is the medicine soap okay for daily? I think I have answered that. It's been answered, answered already. already. It's, it's, all, it's mm. for the entire body. It's for the entire body. Um, I have a question here. Can one wear the energy shoes during menstruation? I remember that question was actually asked, and the prof said that, um, yes, you can. You can wear the energy shoes during your menstruation. It has no effect. The fact that it stimulates blood circulation doesn't mean that it's going to cause excessive bleeding. There's already a balance when you have your menstruation. Your, your menstrual cycle is a per perfectly balanced system. So I see no problem wearing your energy shoes on during menstruation. And then someone is asking, do I do I need to feel do you need to feel some sensation when you wear the shoe or necklace to know if it's functioning? I am not sure I feel anything with the shoe. No, you don't need to feel. It's not everybody that feels anything. It depends on our bodies are different, literally, and our responses are different. Not everyone feels a difference. Doesn't mean it's not doing its job. Doesn't mean it's not 
pushing in energy. What you just need to do is wear your energy shoes as much as possible. And within three months to six months, you realize that there's something different about you, you know, about your body's response, about your body healing, self-healing system. You just realize there's something different. Yeah, so that's just it. Um, okay. So someone is asking, do you need to feel some sensation? I think you answered that, right? I answered that, I just answered that. Someone is asking yes. your things. Do you wear the shoe with socks? Um, another question that we had asked that time. Yes, it's okay to wear the shoes with socks. If there's no obstruction, you know, but you cannot use insoles. I remember the answer was use, you can use socks, but try to make the socks as light as possible. And if possible, I don't use it with socks. I don't see the point. I, I for me, I like <laughs> connecting, direct connection. I don't even want to, even if the company says that there's nothing wrong with using it with socks, I will use it without socks, just so that I can feel my own energy. Feel you the know? real energy yes, effects. <laughs> you, know, you know, so yeah. You don't, I, I, I don't recommend it, but if you do, the company says there's nothing wrong, but you can't use insoles. So don't try to use insoles. That's what we call shoe pad. You can't use anything in it. Okay, okay. so I have a question here on Facebook. Is the Atemesi nourishing soap only meant for those with body odor? Uh, Heaven, no, 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 no. <laughs> for everyone that wants back, like normal bath, you can still use the atomethacin soap. You have body odor, you have body rashes, you know, you can still use the soap, you can still use the mouthwash. I know I saw a question about mouthwash uh, when I was presenting, but I can't find it now because Network had taken it away. So I think we'll just... Um, I still have all the questions from... Okay. There's nothing about mouthwash here. Okay. Hmm. Okay, someone asked the woman's size of the energy shoes stops at 43. Are there plans for bigger sizes? I don't know. I have not asked the company. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are the energy shoes suitable for Nigerian African feet? Knowing that Chinese shoes are usually one to two size smaller than the European American shoe size, compatible with the Nigerian African feet? Yes, so that was a problem we had initially when the energy shoes were released, they, were quite, they came in small sizes. But now we have as much as size 50 for men. So don't worry, they have made it and we have it, yeah. They even have my size. I saw size 39. They have every, I have an energy shoe my other has. They have all our sizes, so you could actually use so it. Someone is saying, um, okay, so I can't see that question again. Someone is saying, can we wear the energy shoe and necklace at the same time? Oh yeah, we didn't talk about the necklace. The necklace, um, yeah, we missed that. Yes, you can, you can. So for me, the what I know about the necklace is that it's for mostly for lumbar um, lumbar spondylosis, literally general energy and all that. Yes, but I mean I don't think you can have excess energy. Besides, the necklace ones are not going to be as detailed, you know, considering that the foot, based on what we have taught today, the foot is literally the connection. So the necklace has its own part to play, but the main connection comes from the foot as well. Okay. Are the energy shoes waterproof? Mm. No, no, they are not waterproof, please. Um, someone says, ask the doctor, when you say avoid water, do you mean water from under or inside? Both, both under, both inside. The company says keep it away from water. So you should need to keep it away from water. Um, can I get the recording? I missed the other sections, only met your energy shoes. Please, Dr. Esther, I've seen the YouTube uh, once on Facebook. Can you post the YouTube links here? So that's so why I start will put the YouTube post the YouTube links here for the other five episodes so you can watch. Okay. Good evening, all. Can we, we have, have a question a, here? Okay. Good evening, all. Can we have um, this video for future using seminars and training? Uh, we don't have. I didn't even remember to record, but you don't. We don't have it. You can watch on. Um, 
you can okay, watch so all. we are going to make the you the videos themselves available we are going to cut it all put it step by okay. step so you could actually get them that is why you need oh, to subscribe to the channel so you will get like long reach toothpaste who is sharing screen ah, who, is who is blossom michael blossom michael It's okay. Let's continue. Okay. So you so you could like you are gonna get long reach energy shoe, long reach street space. You're gonna get the the prep videos that way, that organized. So subscribe to the channel and you'll get them as we go. Thank God we've come to the end of this. So we have a question here for you, Dr. ID. Do we have energy shoes available now in USA or just for Nigeria? Just for Nigeria, they're not in the US yet. Someone is Does asking, it expire? No. <laughs> we were told no. Do we avoid water from outside or inside? How do we clean the shoes? They say clean with only dry cloth. Avoid water from both outside and inside and clean with dry cloth. It's already got resistance to the feet sweat. In fact, if you sweat a lot when you wear shoes, you notice that with these energy shoes, you may not sweat so much because of that nano material, you know, the high tech material I talked about. So you may not sweat so much in your foot, but even at that, avoid the water as well. Yeah. So just clean with dry cloths, you know, externally. Can the shoes heal wound properly if the person that will wear it has wound? No, the person that has wound is wearing it. Tell the person to use other products like snake oil and all that. You can't just be using shoes for a healing wound. I don't understand. Please. And please, where is the wound located? If it's exactly. on the leg, you know the wound needs exposure. You don't need to even wear the shoe on the leg. You need to take proper treatment very well before you even start wearing the shoe. Mm -hmm. okay how do you activate the energy shoe this is it um for you to activate the energy shoe you need to actually reach out to the head office for instructions in fact when you're purchasing the energy shoes this is, you should get the guide but you can also get this book okay this book will help you with further understanding of the energy shoes you can speak to your stockists hopefully they still have it i don't know i know i have a few in my jabi office because i bought it over two years ago but you can also ask the head office you may be able to get the book um the the, the activation needs to be done by literally either they talk you through it on the phone or they do it with you physically because you've got to wear the shoes um while sitting in a very nice position because I mean, depending on your system, your initial, the initial energy push can actually make you dizzy. So you've got to sit, literally sit down first and then stamp your feet. You need to stamp your feet for some time and then get up slowly standing through the back straight and then walk around for a couple of minutes before you move. So you need to get somebody to assist you. Can someone use it and walk for outside? Of course, I, I wear the shoes to go out. When I'm just sure the weather is good, I wear it to go out. Mine is now more of cosmetics, although I know it still helps, you know, but I just know that my husband has been well kept. My husband's one has been well kept, so I just use his. Um, I think that's so. I think that's all, Dr. Esther. Yes, that's all. I'm checking Facebook if we have anyone there. Do the energy shoes have any risk or disadvantage? Well, as long as you are within, you're not within the, the, the list of group of people who are not supposed to use the energy shoes, we should be fine. Apart from the fact that wearing the energy shoes initially could make you dizzy, like I said, that's the only thing I will. What if rain meets the person? Carry shoe in. If you're wearing the energy shoes, carry an, a, an um, extra pair of shoes when you're going out. So like the rain starts, you put it on. Do you need to activate the energy shoe anytime you want to wear it? Yes. Every time you want to wear it, thanks for that question. Every time you want to wear it, you must activate it. Please, can someone with seizure disorder wear the energy shoe? I don't know. This is how I'm doing for you. I don't know seizure disorder. Go to your hospital and ask. <laughs> 
how do we get the book? Please contact your stockist or reach out to, I know Favor and the head office used to distribute it. I don't know if it's still available. I'm just saying that this book really also helped me with the understanding so you can also get them. I just talked about how to activate. How can you ask the question again? Please contact the head office for guide on activation. Thank Please, you. Dr. ID, I need the book myself. Oh, Dr. ID, I'm asking for the book myself <laughs> from Jabi office. I, I, the the book, oh. are all... patients. I want to talk to some doctors. Yes, they have actually done some. This book has the Q&A. This book has actually a Q&A section for all these questions people are asking me. Let me read the one that talked about good for BP patients. I think I saw it here. There was one that said that the energy should be for BP patients. Um, either I saw it here or I saw it on my Q&A on my laptop when I did my previous studies. So, but yes. Okay, so here, can people suffering heart diseases wear energy shoes? The biggest efficacy of energy shoes is to improve blood circulation, promote metabolism, and eliminate toxins from the blood. So the energy shoes are completable, completely suitable for heart disease sufferers. The shoes also help adjust skeleton position, balance pressure on viscera and blood vessels, first st stabilizing blood pressure and improving blood circulation. So like I said, buy the book and get your answers. <laughs> this is written with authorization and support from HQ. For those in the US who want to get the shoes, you could either get them directly from China or you get someone in Nigeria to buy them and bring for you. How do we get the book? Contact your stockies or contact HQ. I wonder whoever made this book needs to pay me. I've just advertised this book for them for free. Please, I should tell, tell the person that they need to pay me referral commission. Cannot be advertising free book, bro. Dr. Esther, I need my referral commission for referring the owner of this book for sales. So yeah, that's it, guys. So thank you, thank I you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. All right, guys, so we're done. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, super. I won't take any questions again. In fact, I'm putting off my chat session. So I want to thank you all for sticking with us through the six weeks. It's been an amazing six weeks. It's been awesome preparing. You guys actually challenged us to do more research than we've never yes, done about so. this. Program. So it was really exciting for us to get to do this research about this product so that we can give you more information. The difference between us is that while we're doing the research, because of our scientific and medical background, we were actually able to relate more and you know, look at the mechanism of actions of these products and be able to share with you. Some of these mechanisms of actions were not shared by the company, but we know that from the ingredients or from our our knowledge, literally, this is how this should work and this should not work. And so we are glad you participated. Like I always tell everybody, you may not be able to get all information just by watching this video with us once. You, can't, you could have been distracted at some point or so many other things. So what we strongly recommend is that you take your time and go through this video over and over and over again until you grasp every aspect of it, you understand what you need to learn, and just pick what's important. Pick what's important, share with your prospects, share with your team. You can even do a watch party. These videos are still on Facebook. If you can't do YouTube, you could do a watch party with your team. You put up Zoom and then stream from YouTube or stream from the Facebook group and watch with your people. When you're done, you can discuss the products. There are so many ways you and your team. See, there's no long reach business without these amazing products. And so what we have come to tell you is to reaffirm what we told you from the first day that Long Bridge seeks to replace every chemical or synthetic product uh, component in their product with a natural alternative where possible. What does that mean? It just simply means that you can just use daily care products and live healthier. Dr. Esther talked about earlier today how some of the products have more of therapeutic benefits than just normal benefits. So these are the benefits you get therapeutically just from daily care. I mean, that's amazing. If anybody told me that, you know, just from using all this without having to take supplements, I could stop having toilet infections, I won't believe you. 
I could stop having all this menstrual discomfort. I will not believe you. Mm -hmm. You understand? So I love the fact that Long Beach put in their all and they are still putting in their all. We didn't talk about one of the, some of the most recent products. We went talk about the cordyceps and black. Okay, we talked about the cordyceps and black ginger, but there's still a lot. So each time we go to China, like we were supposed to be in China this October and I miss China by the way. But each time we go to China, we have a presentation by the chairman telling us the next phase. The first time I was in China in 2016, they had started talking about the makeup sets. The makeup set that came to Nigeria last year. So it's something that they had planned. The Artemisin uh, series was introduced in 2017. And they had started talking about the research. So they start the research, they know what they are looking for and they keep working towards it. And that's the amazing thing with these whole research centers and, their, and, and, and the amazing plants. If you've never been to China, do your best to qualify for one of the trips or even buy a slot and go. I tell you, when you take a tour of that plant and you come back, you will keep talking to Long Bridge even in your dreams. Thank you so much once again, guys. Dr. Clifford, are you still here? Can you say hello to our people? You can unmute yourself and say hello. Yes, so. Thanks everyone for listening to us and um, following up. We are proud that you're here. Thanks to Dr. ID, Dr. Esther, uh, and everyone. I really appreciate you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Dr. Clifford. Thank you for bringing the angle that you brought for us as well. We will not forget Dr. Clifford in Long Beach in Ohio. <laughs> we hope to have you back. Uh, just to talk more about your perspective on natural medicine is an amazing one. Thank you, Dr. Clifford. Dr. Esther. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Dr. Clifford. Thank you, Pharmacy Joy Rich. Thank you, Dr. Messi. Thank you, Dr. Chinon So. Thank you, Dr. Oduag Eteka. You, you all made this an amazing time. And if you have any testimonial, just go to your Facebook page or com uh, even come to the comment section and just type your amazing testimonial you had. No, supposed to take testimonials today, but we already ate on the dot, and we have to do other things. But one to week six, you made this possible, not us, because without you, we wouldn't have had who to present to. And for every time you ask questions, you made us learn more. More. Because your question helped us and also helped our customers out there. And for every time you share this, you encourage us to show up again. So from my end, I'm saying this was once a dream. It's a reality just to educate and to make sure that we know the right things. So just like Dr. Heidi said, listen to it over and over again. And please take note. Take the right things. And what you don't understand, always drop a question in the YouTube chat room. We'll always find a way to answer. Someone is asking, would you ever do this again? Let's just say, take in this one first. Like, glean one. from this one. <laughs> glean mm. from this one. Yeah, glean as much as you can from this one. Then from the second episode, I think we're going to talk about it any other time. But for now, thank you. So we're going to be unmuting ourselves. Anthony, no, thank you. How can I subscribe to your YouTube channel? Please, you have posted the link there. Just go down there and subscribe. I've posted all the five episodes of the, the five episodes that have passed. I posted all of them. Someone asked for the super clean she spoke about. I posted them there. You could get it. So thank you very much. Unmute yourself and thank everyone and thank yourself too. Everyone, thank unmute. You thank unmute you. All. Thank you. Everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. Good night. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you, Dr. ID. Thank you, Dr. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Good night. We got so much value from your work. May you all be blessed.
Amen. Bless you too, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey. Thank you, Prof. <laughs> Prof. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ita. Love you, man. How, to get, how to get it on Facebook now? Look, Maybe. just search on my page. Search on our page. Search on Esther's page. I do a watch party from Esther's page most times, Dr. Esther. So just search on any of those pages and you'll find Doc it. It's there on YouTube. Dr. Anyway. Esther. Yes. Okay. It's there on YouTube. Thank though. you. Yeah. Okay. okay thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you my co-host thank you special thanks to you <laughs> like you had time for us you had time to find this thank you for giving your energy dr clifford i, I just can't send all the thanks to you and to everyone that stepped in thank you and please we are closing the curtain now so that i'm going to post in all the episodes to all the group chats later like all the six episodes and you can share them so thank you once again all right good night thank you good night good night, good night.